Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill with this WBZ News Update. Our top stories today, Dighton's police chief and a reserve officer are charged in an alleged insider trading scheme worth millions. The Board of Selectmen holding an emergency meeting yesterday and placing the police chief, Sean Cronin, on leave. Reserve officer Joseph DuPont was also suspended. They're accused with three others of using insider knowledge about a pharmaceutical merger to make more than $2 million on the stock market. Both DuPont and Cronin have surrendered to authority. A new state law allowing undocumented residents to apply for driver's license goes into effect tomorrow. The RMV is preparing for a spike in applications by adding staff at service centers and making interpreters available in over 100 languages. There's also a new phone line for applicants to call with questions. And Massachusetts customers will soon see a drop in their energy costs ever source. Summer rates go into effect tomorrow. Customers could save about $58 a month in Eastern Mass. And in Western Mass, you'll see about a $42 decrease decrease a month. Energy prices in New England hit record highs last year because of increased demand for natural gas and the war in Ukraine. Let's get a check of your next weather on this Friday with Lexi O'Connor. Lexi? Yeah, our Friday forecast is looking really nice to kick off the holiday weekend. We'll see skies becoming mostly sunny for today. Temperatures will climb into the low to mid 80s. It will be a little cooler at the coast. We'll be in the 70s there, but it is going to be a nice end to the month of June. At the coastline and the beaches, temperatures will be limited to the 70s with an onshore wind, but a pretty nice looking day for today. We do have an air quality alert in effect until midnight for western and parts of central mass with air quality levels in the moderate category. The worst and most unhealthy air is still off to our west, but you might see some haziness out there today. We do have the slight chance for an isolated shower this afternoon, but mostly dry with mostly sunny skies. And then overnight tonight, we'll see likely some more fog developing and the chance for some showers across Cape Cod and the islands early tomorrow morning. Overall, though, our weekend forecast is looking pretty good. We will have to dodge some scattered showers and thunderstorms starting on Sunday and on Monday, especially during the afternoon and evening. Tuesday, still the chance for an isolated shower or storm, but that risk is lower than Sunday and Monday. So that's some good news for anyone with 4th of July plans. Temperatures then warm up after the 4th into the mid to upper 80s. Some spots may even hit 90 degrees degrees towards the end of next week. Kate. All right, Lexi, thank you. This has been a WBZ News update. Have a great day.